your cart does that, it ain't a good thing. Hey everyone, I'm EC. Jason is out on vacation. Uh, getting backed up here already. We got to address this one. You might have seen the short uh, where the steering is not working. The problem with this particular golf cart, uh, it's a club car. Somebody put a different nose piece on it. Uh, but the biggest problem is it's a 1982 and it has a steering box well the bad thing is they do not make a steering box anymore and they went to a steering rack so we have spent the last few weeks searching for a used box or parts that we can get in and and repair this unit unfortunately it's not doable so today we are going to take this one that we pulled out of the salvage yard that has the new new style uh, rack and pinion steering on it and we're going to swap it over and get rid of this steering box in this particular cart so this right at this moment is about the only fix for a club car that has a steering box because there's no nothing out there available for it <laughs> Of course you can see I uh, took the body off and not only did I take it off for the video but even if I wasn't videoing it I would take the body off so I could access everything in between the two carts. Uh, you're going to see some differences between the delta plate on this one right here and then of course this delta plate has the other plate that comes off the back that holds your steering rack. You also see the steering column comes down as our new joints right here that does not have it on this particular cart with the steering box we might tear it apart and look at it and see but i'm sure the thing's got a big gear in here and that's a gear that comes off of that and i'm pretty sure that's just completely stripped out but for right now we'll be changing everything off of that one to this cart right here having a hard time trying to get the old stern column out through here so I'm done these three bolts and that dropped the whole steering box and then of course I'm done the screw and the steering wheel to pop that out and so now we should be able to pull the stern column through here All right, so we got all this old off here of the old steering box, and I've actually just put it over here for the time being. We just took the whole assembly off right here, shocks, drag links, the whole nine yards, because we're certainly not going to need it. And we have what I took off of the newer one right here, all in one piece. And the biggest difference you're going to see, you don't have to have a used one to make this happen. It's a whole lot cheaper, of course. But this is, not only have you already saw the the old steering box that um, that is on the old style early 80 models. But this is what they call the Delta Plate. And all it was was just a simple deal because it did all it needed to do uh, by having a steering box. Uh, this one right here, like I said, if you had to do this and you could not find a used one to do it from, all you really have to do is buy a the new style Delta plate. As you can tell with this one, it comes down the back and kind of angles off because this is 
what holds your steering rack on the place uh, to the front suspension there is a little difference also in the um, the upper a arms here as you can tell they got a notch cut out right here they're a little wider uh, because of where the delta plate mounts to uh, versus the older style that we took off these upper ones are not quite as wide and they don't have the cutout in them which is not going to be a problem because we're going to use this whole thing the spindles and all and um, our other task once we get this mounted on here both of the frames are the same um, the good news is the opening here which is where the steering column was bolted to on this one right here is six inches it's the very same with this newer I uh, will have to take the u-join uh, out and uh, the whole steering column and of course the bracing right here the good news is it should bolt right up to the old 82 frame we're working with all right when I started this project uh, first thing I did was just get the measurements off of this is the 82 model club car and this right here is an 01 uh, club car uh, a couple things that I ran across I did uh, take measurements of course right here and as you can see even from 2001 or from 1982 to 2001 club car pretty much kept the frame everything is the same even though this one had a steering box and not a steering rack um, the one of the struggles I ran across as far as taking the front end off was a piece of cake this right here that held the steering shaft was bolted in right here and one thing that I was trying to figure out how to get it out it's got real long bolts that goes here and uh, one thing that I didn't see until after I was trying to get it out is they actually have a bolt ran up through the bottom there now that is one thing that is not on the 82 model so I will have to drill a hole in there and also I had to take the glove box out here to get the long bolts out of the side here so when we mount this over to this 82 model like I said all this is the same so we're in good shape on that however I will have to take this box off so we can get the bolts in there everything as far as these brackets and stuff the one thing I didn't check was our holes that would line up to the column holder this one had the old just this one here and here so I did have to come in here and drill a 3 8 hole it's certainly not perfect but it really doesn't have to be um, because all we want to do is this is just our to keep our stern column in line to come down because our u-joint is going to come out right here and stuff so we're going to try that and see how it how it works no doubt that had to be the toughest part not only did we have to drill new creates holes right here uh, because this was the two that they had held on for the steering box with a column and box and but it wasn't a real big deal we just held this up here drilled out so we could get the long bolt through now we uh, did need some help to 
hold it because I kept wanting to try to bind on me, uh, trying to li line it up into this stern shaft. But then, of course, once you get it up in here, then you got a couple bolts that kind of clamp down on it and hold it in place. And uh, don't forget to run it through your through your dash cover plate. U joint put on. Get that lined up in the right place. And then of course everything else just going back with your, your whole front end. And uh, then at that point we still this will be working our steering rack. And we should have this thing ready to go. Okay, so we have gotten rid of this wore out steering box for this club car and we put a 2001 front end on this cart to have a steering rack. The other had this bracket right here is what held the steering on uh, which goes right here. We did, uh, once we took this off the salvage cart, we did have to drill some holes here to to get that to fit. But um, one thing that I didn't do that we uh, did off camera was I messed up. And actually, when you're putting this front end back on, go ahead and line up your universal joint to your steering. If you don't, you got to undo this stuff to get it to slide back up on there. So, I wanted to cover that up. <music> Alright folks, there you go. That um, Hopefully it's help out anybody out there that has an old steering box on your club car. Um, it is doable. It's not just a, it's not a 100% easy fix, uh, easy swap I must say, um, but it can be done. Uh, it's better than getting rid of this, you know, it's 1982. It's certainly better than ditching it. That was pretty much his uh, only option at this point. It's put the new style uh, rack and pinion on it, uh, but it works well. And um, guy, hopefully, he's got another 40 years in this cart. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll be coming with a new video real soon. Thank you.